Hello students, welcome sa ating video number 2 para sa topic na electromagnetic spectrum. I am Sir Mao and I will be your instructor for this day. This presentation brought to you by DLSAU Farm. Flexible, alternative, remote modality of learning. Now, in continuation, the second property of electromagnetic waves is they travel at speed of light and obey the wave equation. Now, this is the wave equation. We have C equals lambda times F. So, when you say C, this is the speed of light, which has the values of or value of 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. The lambda, or inverted y, is the wavelength in meters, while f, or small letter f, is frequency in hertz. Now, c is familiar. No? Makikita ang c sa uh, e is equals to mc squared to Albert Einstein, where... E is equivalent to energy, M is mass, and C is the speed of light, which is 3.0 times 10 raised to 8. Now, let's have a sample problem. Number one, what is the frequency of radio waves with wavelength of 20 meters? So, we have the given, okay, C is equivalent to 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second, and the wavelength of 20 meters. So find F or frequency. So this is the solution. So since we have our general equation of wave equation, which is C is equals to lambda times F, we will derive another set of formula to find frequency where, where speed of light is divided by lambda or Wavelength. So 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second divided by 220 meters. So i cancel out natin yung meters, yung meters sa, dala, sa taas at baba. So the answer is 1.5 times 10 raised to 7 hertz. Another sample problem is what is the wavelength of light waves with a frequency of 6.0 times 10 raised to 14 hertz? So we have the given, which is the speed of light, and the frequency of 6.0 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. So find the wavelength or the lambda. So out of the general equation, which is the wave equation, we have the lambda equals speed of light divided by frequency. So 3.0 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second divided by 6.0 times 10 raised, raised to 14 hertz is... 5.0 times 10 raised to negative 7 meters. So, another properties of electromagnetic waves are they can travel even without a medium or matter. So, as you can see, this is an electromagnetic spectrum. It is the range of frequencies of electromagnetic radiation and their respective wavelengths and proton energy. So, it includes from the longest wavelength to shortest. So radio waves, we have microwaves, infrared, the optical or the visible light, the ultraviolet, the X-rays, and gamma rays. So astronomers use the entire electromagnetic spectrum to observe a variety of things. Radio waves and microwaves, the longest wavelengths, and lowest energy energies of light are used to peer inside dense interstellar clouds and track the motion of cloud, I'm sorry, motion of cold, dark gas. Okay, so the entire rainbow of radiation observable to the human eye only makes up a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, about 0.0035%. So this range of wavelength is known as the visible light. Okay. 